your actions show you to be courageous or when there are hard decisions to be made like our people in parliament that is the day you don't you don't show up unasema sijui gari ilifanya nini ulikuwa na harambe sijui wapi because you know there were hard decisions to be made purpose is the rudder and i need to make this that guide you as you make your life choices it's the rudder you know rudder it's the rudder that guides you as you make your life choices so it's the some the thing that awakes you you know it awakes you that this is my purpose that is the rudder that makes you you have a sense of meaning in the things that we do Tubotubo 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 Sesa Sesa Satuma 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 Saboko Saboko Bush Bush All right let's have a seat <laughs> Sometimes you find that let's say I did not know that and it is genuinely you did not know that but The question Salim was asking, why? Why did not, you not know that? Because maybe the first time such a case was reported to you, you brushed it off. So since I know that once or twice it has come to your attention and you never addressed it, do you think as a congregant I will come and, and, and tell you again? But if this thing will bring instability, there are other conflict styles that you can use and we go to avoid it. we go to avoid it. You remember yesterday we talked about pastors not dealing with the difficult conversations. This is the style they use mostly. All of us pastors, this is the style we use, avoid. We use we avoid because we avoid we don't want to offend. We avoid the situation. As pastors, we have learned so many things here and there's a reason why I wanted us to have this kind of training that we are not just spiritualizing everything while becoming ignorant to the to whatever is happening around the training was very 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 excellent and great because it is really going to transform glory ministries the entire nationwide because initially we had never we had not attended such courses and everyone everybody every pastor was doing his own thing the program has been fantastic it has been educative it has been it is it is a knowledge based seminar it has helped me realize my strong points and my weak points it has helped me realize my purpose it has an eye open and because in church there are so many mistakes that pastor do in terms especially in uh, resolution of conflict there are issues that church splits we have seen also people going, going out annoyed and so many bad things happening i can sum it up that sometimes the church is in shambles but after this training this training i believe i can understand why you should be in this training so that you can solve this problem these issues that, that they can really be solved but you know the something that i understand is when you don't know and you don't know that you don't know that's the biggest myth that happen but now this as such a training it has made us know to know so we understand so the thing that we are going through now we can handle them and now make the church to be in oneness and solve the issues that we come through we have just learned so many things it has enlightened our mind it has opened our understanding and uh, this is a program that is going to change the lives of leaders and it give them the ability to affect positively the other people left behind in other uh, other departments the first cohort of faith um, for peace program has been quite successful than we thought because when we are designing this we are looking for partners that we wanted to work with and so we were privileged to find Grace College that uh, is based here in Karen that actually came and and we spoke to and said we can partner on this 
And so it has been a very, 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 very successful program. We have been able to train 16 pastors and religious leaders from across Nairobi.